Welcome to Stubbs Aquatics and our profile on the Gold Barb. I'm Sandra, Stubbs' wife and the narrator for all the species profiles. We enjoy doing species profiles and passing on our experience. Plus, it's fun working together on our collaborations. Disclaimer. We are not professional fish keepers, but we have been in the hobby for over 50 years. We only do species profiles on the fish we actually keep. We think it's very important as you would never want to buy fish on the advice of someone who has never had them nor had the experience of dealing with them. All the fish you see in our video are actually our fish. Please consider subscribing and hit that like button if you find this video helpful. The Gold Barb. This very colorful fish is often referred to as the Chinese Barb. That may have been true at one point when the fish were wild caught. The wild strain has a green color. With captive and selective breeding, currently the colors you see today are of a golden, almost a yellow, orange fish. Other names for this fish are the China Barb, Green Barb, Schubert's Barb, and the Six Banded Barb. The Schubert Barb, named after the person who developed them, through selective breeding in the 1960s, that being Thomas Schubert of Camden, New Jersey. This barb is widely kept in the aquarium trade. To think that this captive bred fish all originated from Schubert's stock. That's impressive. I can see why Stubb is trying to get a specific look to his Shabumkin goldfish. Hmm, Stubb Bunkins. Okay. <laughs> Origins. The wild strain of this species comes from China, Taiwan, Vietnam, and Laos. This fish is a very hardy fish and is found in the wild from puddles to ponds to lakes, including fast moving streams. It is very adaptive to its surroundings. This is a reason that this fish has been able to establish large feral populations in numerous areas including South America and Hawaii. Description. This is a medium sized barb likely to reach 3 inches in a good size aquarium. The gold barb body has a complete lateral line. The back of an adult gold barb is highly arched. Just like the other barbs, the gold barb is equipped with a pair of barbells. They are short and located at the corners of the mouth on the upper jaw. The gold barb body is decorated with four to seven narrow bars that tend to look like blotches and spots. The degree varies in each specimen or bloodline. The sides of the gold barb are a beautiful metallic green or yellow green shade with a golden or brassy luster below. With the right substrate and background, this really pops and can make this fish a real eye catcher in your tank. The back is light to reddish brown, while the belly is whitish. The female gold barb tends to have duller colors than the male and she's also more heavier set. During breeding, the bellies will lose their bland whitish color and change into vivid orange red in male golden barbs. Stubb finds that the males tend to hold on to their reddish color on their pectoral and anal fins. Size. This is a medium sized barb and can reach up to 4 inches but more likely 3 in captivity. Lifespan. This very hardy barb should live a minimum of 4 to 5 years with a maximum of 7 under ideal conditions. Difficulty in keeping this species. Easy or beginner. The requirements are easily met with minimal difficulty. Temperature. These hardy barbs like cooler water from the low 60s to mid 70s Fahrenheit. They are a perfect fish for an unheated aquarium or a summer visit to the pond. Stubb likes to take these guys out to a semi-shaded 50 gallon barrel where he breeds them or intends to breed them. Diet. Omnivore. These barbs are good eaters. They are not picky, but that doesn't mean they should be fed inferior food. 
Their colors will definitely enhance with quality flake, pellet, and live foods. We feed ours a mix of numerous foods including freeze-dried and frozen brine shrimp, bloodworms, and daphnia. They will even benefit from some high quality goldfish food being they are a synchronid too. Don't forget some high quality veggies as well. These guys enjoy nibbling on algae. Any fish that actively eats algae is all right in our books. Temperament. This barb is a friendly social schooling fish that should be kept with at least six other of the same species. Some people claim that this is a nippy fish. We have never seen that. We find it to be a great community tank fish that is very peaceful. Tank setup and size. These undemanding fish will need a minimum of a 20 gallon tank, but if you want them to reach their full potential, we recommend at least a 55 gallon tank, given they are a schooling fish and they can reach three inches in size. These barbs prefer to have a sandy substrate or fine gravel. They feel comfortable in a well-planted tank with plenty of hiding places. Large rocks and driftwood is appreciated. They require plenty of oxygen and a moderate flow. Our seems to enjoy a strong current which shows you that they are adaptable to most water conditions. These fish are mid-level tank dwellers and require open areas to swim in schools. Stubb plans on moving his gold barbs to a larger tank <clears throat> once they come back inside after summering outside for a few months and hopefully breeding. Sexing and breeding. As previously stated, males have brighter markings, especially the fins, whereas the females tend to be duller and thicker. These are typical barbs, which means they are egg scatterers and show no parental care. They will consume the eggs right after laying them. You will need to set up a breeding tank that contains moss or a breeding mop with mesh or marbles to protect the eggs. The parents will have to be removed. Stubb recently picked up a few more juvenile gold barbs in hopes of breeding them. He currently only has six fully grown gold barbs that did not breed last summer. With the addition of a few more, we hope to be able to breed them this summer. These will be kept in a 50 gallon barrel with mesh to allow the eggs to sink. This me method worked well for the Odessa and Rosie barbs previously. Tank mates. This fish would do well with other barbs of the same size and temperature requirements. Other species that would do well with these fish would be tetras, danios, sores, plotties, cats, and even common comet or shabumpkin goldfish. Water parameters. This hardy barb can tolerate a wide range of parameters. The ideal temperature for gold barbs in the aquarium is 60 to 75 Fahrenheit or approximately 15 to 24 Celsius. The ideal pH range is between 6.0 to 8.0 and it is pretty much indifferent to the hardness. That makes it a really undemanding fish. This makes the gold barb an ideal choice for the beginner, but it still looks good in an experienced Aquarius tank as well. Stubb can't wait to show you what tanks these guys go in. You'll have to check back in to see them in the future. Conclusion. This beautiful, peaceful barb with its wide range of water requirements and undemanding needs makes this fish one of the best fish to keep in the hobby. We recommend the fish to everyone from beginner to expert. These mid-level swimmers make great additions to your aquarium that will definitely add a pop of color. Thanks for watching everyone. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything and we would really appreciate it. Hit the like notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Take care everyone. Bye for now.